Good morning everybody out there. This is just going to be a, a quick update. What we're talking about is valves, valve seats and valve guides in pretty much any engine, but especially these old one cylinder flywheel engines is what we're talking about. Just an intake and an exhaust. This one happens to be off a Rock Island uh, two horsepower engine, and we are going to talk about this head. But but the one we have right here that we are actually looking at uh, is a John Deere, and this just came back from the machine shop getting valve guides put in it. And if you see here, I've I've actually worked on this side, and I actually put some grinding compound and uh, I don't know if you can see it but looks really good straight all the way around it's at the right spot on the valve face you see if I wipe that off there uh, it looks really good and here of course the same thing and you see we got our new valve guides in there and it, it, it goes in there and there is no play I mean none now <clears throat> on this side, I didn't remove the uh, this purple stuff they put on there. Uh, I mean, you can use a felt pen and get the same, uh, you know, a sharpie and get the same results. But uh, this is stuff that comes in a little tube that you buy, and it does work uh, just as well or or better depending on uh, what you like. But that's all they did at the uh, machine shop was just put that line on there and make sure that it took off that marking all the way around so they know they got a good uh, a good fit, a good seat there. And again, we got the, the valve guide in there. If y'all can see it though, it's, uh, it's a good job. Good job. Well worth uh, the $40.00 that it cost to get them done. Um, I don't have the equipment to do it or I would attempt to install them. I mean we're talking about no movement here. None at all. There's just no no movement at all. It, it's uh, I mean if there is any movement it's it's so it's so much not there that it's none. Uh, Let's see here. What we're going to do is we're going to finish what I had started on on this side here, and all we're going to do is is get me some lacquer thinner on a towel. Uh, I like a Q-tip, and we're just going to clean that clean that off. Cause like I said this came back from the machine shop and I have not done anything to it and that's one thing I might ought to just go ahead and and say if you if you get your head from the machine shop and you take that thing home and you stick your valves in there and you just bolt it up to the engine oh it, it is pretty much there's pretty much no doubt that uh, damage is done at that point and it's not because of uh, something that the the person that's working on the engine did it's what the previous guy did at the machine shop his leftovers are what caused that uh, it's going to cause you some failure and it may not be known for you know some time but there is going to be some uh, some consequences of not cleaning up your head to the point of letting it soak in some lacquer thinner uh, after you get it back from the machine shop. I'm going to cut y'all off and uh, reset here and we'll, uh, we'll get back to it. 